Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. When I cook lamb, you know, very often I look for lamb. Lamb chop are great. Well, the best lamb chop for me is this one. This is the shoulder lamb chop. See the bone of the shoulder here, the blade. For me, this is moister and more tender than, uh, than the loin even, and much less expensive. Sometimes there is more fat than it is here. I try to choose one with the least amount of fat. There is still some fat in the center. It's like the Boston butt that you have, you know, in the pork. The shoulder makes a great roast. And it's the same piece here. So salt, pepper on top of this. Of course, I often grill it. But here we're sauteing it in a skillet. I'm going to put a, like, uh, up. Half a tablespoon of uh, oil, you know, corn oil, or the same amount of butter. I'm going to saute that. Of course, I like it medium rare in the center, so I'm going to cook for a few minutes, a couple of minutes here. I'm going to lower the heat a little bit, and I'm going to put a garnish of mushroom. I have those mushroom here, a little oil from my refrigerator, so they need washing. It is a fallacy that you cannot wash mushroom. Of course you wash mushroom. The point is that you don't do it ahead. You wash mushroom and you use them as fast as you can after. I have two large mushroom that I'm going to put, cook gently all around here. So that's gonna cook a couple of minutes on this side, a couple of minutes on the other side. So now it's about three minutes. I'm going to turn my lamb shot here. The mushroom too. We'll cook it another two, three minutes on this side as well. Dash of salt on the mushroom. And maybe I put a little bit of garlic at the end. I have a nice slice of garlic. And maybe I will just do some slice of garlic like this. I will let them at the end. See another three minutes on each side. I can touch it like that and I know it's still pretty rare. But good, now it has to rest. I'm putting my garlic in there now. This slice of garlic. Just close. I'm shutting up the heat. So it's just off the heat now. When I leave it here, I'm gonna cover it. And maybe uh, three, four, five minutes. The point is, I don't want it to get cold. But also, when the meat cooked, it shrank like this, and uh, all the juice got toward the center on the other side. So when the meat is finished cooking, you have to let it rest a little bit. So the meat decontract. It was contracted when it cooked. It decontracted, and the juice run through it, and it's pink from the beginning to the end. Otherwise, you end up with the outside, which is kind of gray, overcooked, and the inside, which is almost raw. So the resting is important. On something like that, three, four, five minutes, on a steak, on a rack of lamb, like eight, 10 minutes, and a standing rib roast, like 30, 45 minutes. Okay, I think it rested long enough now. You can see that when it rests, the juice come out of it. Whoop. Now, I have my garnish here. See the juice released. It's released a fair amount of juice. Mushroom here. That's a nice, a nice garnish. And you see the natural juice, the little slice of garlic. That's it. Of course, a bit of green on top of it. Always finish. That's it. Should be rested. So, you can see cut right in the center. It's going to be beautifully medium rare, just the way I like it. Of course, if you like it longer, or you cook it longer, if you like it more cooked. And this is it. The lamb shoulder with mushroom saute. Happy cooking.